Saka Fats YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make some lollipop chicken in the air fryer. darlings it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen today we're making some lollipop chicken in the air fryer so i've got my chicken drumstick and i'm using a knife to cut it at the bottom where it doesn't really have any meat and i'm just gonna go ahead and pull that bit out from the bottom okay gonna use my scissors as well just to get rid of any tendons and yes my darlings i'll just show you how i do it So once it's all done, it should look something like this. I have about seven drumsticks, so I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process for all of them. And once all of them are all lollipop, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up using some lemon juice, cool water and vinegar. Once all of my chicken is cleaned, I pat it dry and I'm gonna season with a little bit of oil, some salt, some black pepper of course, I'm adding in some mixed herbs, adding in some garlic powder as well as some smoked paprika for some gorgeous color, going in with some parsley flakes, I'm also gonna add a little all-purpose seasoning and I'm gonna mix that in well. Make sure you mix it in well, allow it to marinate for at least half an hour before putting it into the air fryer and yes, once it's all mixed up, it should look all gorgeous and just delicious. So after about half an hour had passed, it looks something like this. I'm going in with some foil just to wrap around the bone. And yeah, this is optional, but it just prevents it from burning really, really black while the chicken cooks. And over here, I'm going to go ahead and pop them into my air fryer one at a time. I had seven drumsticks and I didn't really want to put all of them in there because it was really going to overcrowd the air fryer. So first, I like to spray it up with some oil and I'm just going to place them in, okay? I'm going to air fry these for about 20 minutes minutes on 180 degrees and make sure you flip it halfway and yeah literally it takes no time to cook at all So after about 10 minutes, this is how it looks. I went ahead and I flipped it over. As you can see, it's not fully cooked, still has a bit of blood seeping out of it. So that's how you know this is not cooked, okay? Even though it has some gorgeous color, it is not cooked. So I like to flip it over on the other side and I like to let it go for another eight or 10 minutes. And yeah, it will be all ready. So 
so guys after 20 minutes this is how it all looks it's nice and golden and gorgeous don't mind the little char marks that you see on there this is basically from the garlic and all of the dry seasonings that we used but it's not burnt or anything and yes my darlings this came out so beautiful i actually served it with some sweet chili sauce you know because it was just so yummy and just absolutely delicious my boys got back from school just in time to indulge in these and yeah we couldn't stop eating so yeah this is it all done i really hope you enjoy the recipe try it soon let me know if you like it it looks like an actual lollipop like it's so good i really hope you enjoy it try it soon and i'll see you again in my next one thank you for watching Bye bye